Yeah, a bit cloudy, a bit cold today. What's up, guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. So, guess what? I convinced them to let me take out the 2021 Limited. And they didn't even give me a license plate. Oops. <laughs> We've just been driving around town. Zero, zero feet empty. But, uh, yeah, this is a crazy, crazy truck. 95 grand. So, a few things I like when you hit the unlock button now. The steps come down. And they're a lot longer. And also, this part, you just kick it so you can stand up and get in the box. Easy as that. Tailgate comes down automatically. And the best part is it also goes up. It's got the workbench on the back, all your power outlets over there. Other than that, yeah, she's, she's a good truck. I have a 2020 Platinum right now. Love it. This is the power boost. So this is actually a hybrid. So I don't know how many miles it gets, but apparently you can get around 1200 K to a tank. So this thing's pretty fancy. Anyways, let's take her for a spin. Well, hello there. Oh, hey, welcome well, to my ride. Are you just hanging out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so the interior is a little different. We got blue, blue and gray. You want to tell us about it? Uh, we have the 22 inch screen TV. <laughs> <laughs> this goes and down. The Prindle. The Prindle. Has its mind of its own. You can have a picnic with your girlfriend. <laughs> you brought snacks? Always. Got them in here. Uh, can you pull out the uh, window sticker? Should be in that. Nope. What are you talking about window sticker? The, that shows everything. It's in the glove box. There you go. So this thing's fully loaded. I think the only thing it doesn't have is the seats to go all the way flat. But 9.8. Okay, there it is. 95,000 Canadian. It's like half a house. Yeah. Well, not these days. <laughs> well, anyways, this has the full glass roof, giant screen. Bit everything. And you even have speakers above your head now. What do you think of the speakers in this thing? Not bad. Quite I ridic. like the panoramic sunroof. Yeah, you love your sunroofs. Eh? I do. So, yeah. All right, let's fire it up and go for a rip. There's just so many switches and controls on this thing. <laughs> oh, and we got zero K to empty. Yeah, this is quite, quite the rig. I thought uh, my 2020 Platinum was aggressive, but this is, this just walks all over. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, super nice truck. I love all the new features that Ford has thrown in. Um, big thing with my truck, it has a steering wheel heater, but to turn it on and off, you have to go through the screen and they finally change the button there. So it's not really a huge thing, but I definitely like it. Um, yeah, everything's automatic. Uh, I'm gonna try the lane lane assist apparently it's this truck is supposed to be 10 times better i don't even know how to turn it on right now <laughs> i thought it was up here uh no that's the parallel park thing all right here we go all right we're set Let's see how good this thing drives by itself see how many curves we can hit Oh, you had to assist. I don't even think I have it on, to the truth. I mean, oh, there we go. I had it off. <laughs> All right, look, no hands. So I noticed with my truck, it works good, but eventually it kind of does a pinball effect. And I noticed a lot of things, give me the hands on the wheel warning. Um, I watched a few videos on this truck and apparently, well, we're some control. Apparently the lane assist is a thousand times better and it kind of keeps a lot smoother and uh, does not do the pin bubble effect, so. But, uh, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be working very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I noticed too is um, this lane's pretty wide, so obviously when the paint's a little more narrow, because it goes by the paint, I believe, so. But uh, once we get back on the main road, we'll test it out. But other than that, yeah, I feel like you could research this thing for hours and 
There's so much to know about it. Because it's got the power boost, so it's a hybrid, right? So, like, this is showing me 29 electric kilometers on it. So, I wish I knew a lot more about it, but this thing... It's ridiculous. <laughs> what do you think of it? I think it's pretty nice. Pretty fancy. All right, we'll get back to the main street here and uh, test it uh, lane departure one more time. One more time. Oh yeah, she's definitely a lot smoother, that's for sure. Keeps her right in the lane, right in the middle. And back to the dealership. <laughs> All right, let's go test drive a Jeep now. Oh yeah, my Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> uh, we're just driving by here, found this bad boy. It's 2020, got 23K on it. What do you guys think? Should she get a Jeep or a Bronco? Jeep or Bronco? Well, I was Jeep, but I like that Bronco, so I don't know. Plus, I want black rims. These are not black. I love how they actually put a Jeep on the rim. Pretty fancy. I just... Is that? Should we drive it or go get a 2021? Up to you. I just think Jeeps are way overpriced. And every Jeep should be jumped at least once. Sorry, I had to shut your dance party off. Yeah, I was feeling that song, Diplo. <laughs> what do you think of this unit? I, I really like it, it feels good, but something is up with this engine, it sounds weird. Yeah, it's pretty loud. It's got a loudness to it. Yeah, got... but I like the way it feels. And I like all the open windows. I don't know. Are you a Jeep girl or a Bronco girl? I don't know, I don't even know Bronco. You can take the doors off, just not the roof on the Bronco. I think, I don't know. There's no navigation on this thing. Yeah, that's a big thing. I need my navigation system. Cloth seats. They're not, it's pretty good. And my chair is the old pump up. The old pump up, yeah, this looks pretty base model. Probably still 70 grand. Here we go. We got 20, 23K on her. Yep. In the lane I got my man satchel here. It's pretty nice. Let's see if she'll slide in between the vehicles. Yeah, it's a little bigger than the Chrysler 200. <laughs> I feel like I'd get confused I'm trying to drive with the old two wheel drive there. Sounds so strange. Oh, plenty of room in the driveway. All right, let her rip. See if we can hear it. Sounds a little off. Yeah. Maybe that's why they traded it in. Exactly. I'm not bringing this baby home, but it's good to know. It's good to test drive. Yeah. 23 on her. Let's go try the 2021 though. See if they have one. Let's bring it to the track. See if we can hit some jumps. Okay, under your name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got 2021 Wrangler Unlimited. <laughs> Chili, baby back ribs. Up into my ride. Looks similar. This one, I have to do this. I wonder if it sounds different if they all sound like that. Well, this is a 2021. I'm thinking between the Sport and Sahara, I'm liking the sounds of Sahara better. The screen is bigger, apparently. And I don't know if I need the bigger... What is it? What's it called? You know what I'm talking about. From the flares are from? Flares? I don't think Like I the need fenders? The flares. Oh, this one has the big giant fender flares. Yeah. <sighs> this one's apparently pending sold, so we should probably go find some jumps for it. Let's do it. Do it. And Whatever. there's no navigation on it. You think for being a Jeep they would all just come with navigation? Okay. 
from a butt a here. Jeep. You want to travel. Uh, you want to explore the world. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I think this one already feels and sounds better. Yeah, I think there was something wrong with yeah. that other one. <laughs> I, so. I mean, that was a used car dealership, so yeah. you never really know what they're uh, <laughs> what they're slinging out back. Well, we got Ricky Martin playing for you. <laughs> does it sound better already? Yeah, it does, and it feels better. Bill Tata. Vehicle is not in park. Oh, your door is open. My door? Yeah. Oh, it is too. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Feel like a badass Jeep girl? Yeah. Well, I've always wanted one. It'd be a Jeep come true. Oh, I think it's an office. Is it? I don't think people live there. All right, floor it. Yeah, it definitely sounds better than the other one. And it, yeah, you, it feels better. I think that one had some engine stuff. Oh really? Yeah, that's when he said 54. And it's a 2021, the other one's 2020, and he still went at 52. And that one had 23,000 on it. And that one had some engine issues. <laughs> yeah, and this one's only got three, 280 on it. Oh, good lighting here. Look at you, eh? You're so cool. Maybe one day when I grow up, I'll be as cool as you. You can wish. <laughs> hey, man can only dream. Oh, uh, Crumlin! The Crumlin! I miss I golf. <laughs> uh, soon, a couple more months. All right. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. There's a stop sign. Slow down. <laughs> Best way to walk a dog. Just drive your truck around. <laughs> a girl. There she is. Where you been? Like being out in the country where, with her, I don't have to worry about her. In town, you never know, she might just disappear in someone's house. <laughs> out here, I just yell a few times as she shows up. She loves it out here. Anyways, what's up guys? So I just wanted to do some simple car driving videos yesterday, some reviews. I am debating on getting a new truck. I don't know if, I'll probably just go platinum again. I don't really need a limited, they're just a lot more money and you don't really get much more plus. I like the Platinums, they pretty much have everything anyway. So, but the Limited is super nice, tons of new features. And the update from 20 to 2021 20, is absolutely unreal. So if you're looking for a vehicle and you know, you want something of that range, highly recommended. So a uh, big feature I loved was the lane departure feature. My truck has it, but it, 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 it yeah, can't talk, it's good. But that one's great. <laughs> So anyways, I'm just gonna continue this video today with Nala, Nala's butt. <whistles> Nala, what are you doing? Oh, thirsty, eating snow. Um, yeah, we got another package from Princess Auto. It was just the other straps, as you can see. They just ran out at one warehouse, so they sent another package. Olight has sent me some stuff there. I have a sale on right now. They sent me this pen flashlight. I didn't even know they made pens. Just flashlights, so super bright. Super, 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 super bright. And you can autograph babies' foreheads if you like. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I'm uh, wanting to start Malamute Monday, but I think I'm gonna wait until the snow melts, but I am gonna continue to have her in a lot more videos here, so. Nala, wanna come hang? Come on, Yo, uh, get over here. So Nala is almost three years old. She's female, uh, Alaskan Malamute. She loves the snow, uh, hates the heat. So obviously when the winter hits and this stuff, she just sits outside all day. She re refuses to come inside. Let her out this morning in a huge snowstorm. I looked outside, she was just a pile of snow and she'd get up. She got up, ugh, burp. She got up, shook off and freaking had after it, so. Just gonna close the old garage here. What do you guys think of this platinum? Pretty decent, eh? 
some lettuce over there if you need it from uh, Flower Mills Produce there. So, yeah, I do love my truck. Another thing too, like I usually trade them in every year, but uh, because of COVID and stuff, I only put 30,000 K on this year. Usually I put 70 to 80, cause you know, I'm a YouTuber and I'm everywhere at every event, but to only put 30 on. So I don't know, I might just keep it for a bit. I haven't really decided. Do I want to spend the money? Do I want to buy something else? Maybe a snowmobile at this time. So I was looking for a race sled. I don't know if I still want to get it. I don't know what I want to do. There's so many options, so many options. So, but I do love this truck. I love the F-150s. I know everyone wants me to get a diesel, but like I hardly tow anything. And when I do, I'm just towing the Maverick. So, and this thing tows it fantastic. The EcoBoost is next level. So I would just like to switch to the old hybrid, eh? Hey, old bear, you sit. You a good girl? You sit. Good girl. Shake. Have a pop. Oh, come on. Nope. Okay. Lay down. See, she'll just curl up like this, or she'll curl up in a ball and just lay in the snow. Aren't you a good girl? Let's get right in there. Enjoy that snow. Maybe I should get you some water, eh? You're probably thirsty. Whew. Anyways, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, what's the main question? Oh yeah, people want shout outs. So I explained this in another video, but if you want a shout out, just start leaving lots of comments and uh, eventually we will notice you. So obviously we always shout out Big Steve because he always leaves comments and they're always in caps. So I do see them. I haven't responded to comments lately. I've been so busy, but I will get after it soon. It's just, you know, been pretty hectic lately with everything that's going on. I know everyone has a different life and some are hectic, some are not. Some are more hectic than others, but oh, here she goes. She's on a mission, but yeah, so. Um, I just can't wait for freaking, I mean, I love the snow. I just, I love the summer more. Dirt biking, you know, hitting the trails in the Maverick, jumping cars. So I think I am gonna get a race set. The sponsors wanted me to get one. So I was hoping one of them would cover it, but we're still trying to figure that out. So, and I still gotta find one I want, but uh, I gotta find one soon because, you know, winter doesn't last long. I mean, it gets crappy, but. The snow part doesn't last long. This part, usually only a few weeks. This is the most snow we've had this year and the longest it's stayed, so. Now, come on, come on. Once she's out in the wilderness, she doesn't listen to anybody. She gets on a mission and that's about it. Now, come on. <laughs> Uh, there she is. Oh, who's a good girl? Yeah, she loves it out here. Lots of energy. Malamutes have lots of energy, that's for sure. So once she's out here, she'll run a few kilometers and then she'll just pass out for the night. But, yeah, what else is going on? Uh, for all you guys that don't know, I don't live here anymore. I moved out last year. Obviously, I'm still here every day because I'm all my toys are here, the track's here, so all the filming gets done here. But I live in town now, but eventually I would like to buy a farm or a house out here and uh, start making my own compounds, so. Um, sponsors? I don't think there's not a ton going on. There's some pretty, pretty normal stuff. Uh, can't really say what's going on, but there is some stuff in the works and just, uh, Obviously, I can't announce it until it happens, but until the contract is signed. Um, other than that, I should be picking up the Maverick tomorrow. I was going to pick it up today, but then the snowstorm hit. And the roads are super bad. I don't really like, feel like pulling a trailer, especially covering the Maverick. Oh, so, right, it's windy down here. But not. I'm going to head back this way. So, yeah, I should be getting it back tomorrow. I got two uh, rear wheel bearings. And then the uh, front brakes were fixed after I smashed them on the wheelie ramp. So, is anyone wondering, is wondering what this part of the house is? This is the pool room. That's the, the house, and then this is the pool. Everyone thinks this is a separate house. Now, 
What are you doing? What are you doing? You can see the hot tub in there. That's where I do all my sauning. The sauning is good for you. Come on, Noel. Hey, come on. Get over here. <laughs> oh. Hey, come on. We gotta do Malamute Monday. Come on, Noel. What's the one? What's this? Hup. There she goes. Uh, she was running through the snow today and she hit about a two foot patch deep. Ended up doing a full. It wasn't a front flip, she just disappeared. It was like a, almost like a scorpion into it. <laughs> oh, cracks me up. Hey, bud. Yeah, this snow is definitely not letting off. Might have to find a race sled sooner than later. Start making some sled videos. Um, yeah, what else? Been making, trying to make longer videos. I know at the start, no one really liked longer videos, but um, that's just how it goes now. It goes now with YouTube. They want watch time, that's how we get paid. When I started YouTube, you can make a two, three minute video. It wouldn't matter because it was just views, but now it's all watch time, so which is understandable. And uh, yeah, I like making longer videos. They're so much more fun. I feel like we can do a lot more rather than you know, just getting to the point and being done. So hope you guys enjoyed the uh, easy quad load video too. That wasn't my intention. We we're just going to go quadding, but I wanted to go drifting with my truck first and it fell out. So whoops. Nala. Come on, Harry, but I stop. What's this? <laughs> Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? But yeah, if I buy another race sled, or if I buy another sled, it will be a race sled. Because they're a little cheaper, and for what I do, I don't really trail ride, and if I do, it's like around the block. I'd rather drift bang, ditch bang, and hit the river, so. And, uh, and I'll be able to grass drag it in the summer. So I know you guys love sled videos. I know the internet loves sled videos, because sleds are awesome, sleds sound sick, and yeah. And what I want to do also, if I do get one, is go to the beach in the spring once the ice is gone and see how far up the lake we can go on like a calm day. So, come on, get it. Get it. <laughs> Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Oh, get the tail, get the tail. <laughs> oh, my. she's so funny. Oh, <laughs> she is a little clumsy now again. She tends to wipe out on the ice. And she tends to get going super fast and run into the walls or fall up the stairs. It's all the name of the game. I feel like all dogs do that. A little jacked up. Go, go. <laughs> she tends to take out my leg once in a while too. Oh, she's pumped. She loves the snow. In the summer, she doesn't usually do this. She's a little, a little calmer, doesn't really like the heat. Nola bear. I am not brushing her right now either, obviously. Got that nice thick coat for the winter. In the summer, I brush her every other day. Just to kind of keep her somewhat cool, right? Nola. <laughs> oh, I could watch her all day. Yeah, anyway, so hopefully figure out a sled situation in the next few weeks or within the next week. And uh, yeah, and then Maverick, oh, the shredder's fixed. You guys will never guess what was wrong with it. So obviously they are pretty tricky to work on. They're making an electric one right now and I'm not even a mechanic. I can do some stuff, change oil, and, you know, change parts and stuff. But when it comes to engine stuff, I do not touch. Engine and wiring, not for me, so. Uh, yeah, we ripped it all last winter. It was fine. Then we were in our, no, Florida, Florida last February and uh, we had a wiring issue. Something got shorted. So Brad's dad fixed it and then it would run, but it wouldn't go over like five kilometers an hour. So uh, we had a guy um, come pick it up. He fixed it. Turns out it was freaking, the intake was full of water. <laughs> so I don't know if it was from the pressure washer or hitting puddles or going through snow, but she's fixed, she's good to go. So I'm actually, I came out here today because I'm taking the battery off the prototype one 
This is the only prototype one in the world. It has a 50 horsepower rotary engine in it. And that's all I know. It's a Wankel engine and uh, it's super fast. It's, it's like my dirt bike on tracks. So um, like the engine's so big, the battery barely starts it, but I let it sit for a while and the battery is now cooked. So I'm gonna take the battery out, order a new one and put a, a trickle charger on it too because it likes to kill the battery super fast. So hopefully by next week, I will get it going. And it's a two stroke, you gotta mix fuel in it. So, and then we'll show you how it goes. It doesn't go through the snow, it goes, it just floats on top. But uh, yeah, we'll get that going, she'll be good to go. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this one up for now. I know I've been yammering on for the last 10, 15 minutes, but I hope you enjoyed the car videos. Uh, I squeezed Laura in there. We got her to be in another video. She loves coming out and filming, but most of the time we're filming during the week and uh, she is nursing during the week. So she's got the normal job, unlike me, which is just always doing ridiculous random stuff. So, and I don't usually film on the weekend. I'm uh, always adventuring with her. So, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be on the lookout. If you want to shout out, just start commenting as much as possible and uh, sharing the videos, you know, everything helps, right? Just leave some good comments, some funny comments. Feel free to make fun of me, I don't care. I got pretty thick skin after being on YouTube for 12 years. I've been called everything, every name in the book. So, anyways, thank you guys. Go on, go on. Oh, who's a good girl? All right, let's do one more lap and then we'll, then we'll get out of here. Go well, UPS is here. Come on out. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Well, it's backing in. Come on. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.